this is me fresh out of the shower and I thought I might start a weekly vlog today because I have just been doing a bunch of work around the house and had a shower and I was doing my skincare and I thought that's right I'm doing my clear and brilliant treatment this week um, so it would probably be good to do a before and after so here I am fresh with just my skincare on you can see I have like a bit of pigmentation up here I've got like some freckles and a little bit of like the odd scar here um yeah a couple along my jawline but this is me fresh faced um pre-treatment so yeah I'm having my treatment Wednesday um today it's Sunday I am just going to enjoy relaxing and hopefully this is not scaring you too much um <laughs> seeing me like this um but i'm going to check in you with you through the week um before the treatment and after to see if it's worth the pain okay it's now wednesday i've just gotten out of the shower and i'm going for my clear and brilliant treatment in about an hour so i'm going to have a coffee i've just got skincare on it's funny my skin actually looks like super shiny and um radiant but yeah you can still see you know i'm just highlighting the bits that i feel like we're going to see a bit of a difference in um so we'll take a before and after photo so that you can see the dogs are just waking up um so that you can see side by side comparisons but uh yeah i'm about to have a coffee and get changed and see how this thing goes now um, I'm going to pull up the information on the treatment and just talk you through it whilst I'm having a coffee. Okay, so clear and brilliant. It is a registered trademark, I think. Uh, it's a fractional laser treatment that rejuvenates your skin by improving the appearance of pores, lightening pigmentation and reducing the signs of aging, revealing a toned and radiant complexion in a gentle yet effective way. I've not had like a, a decent facial treatment, clinical facial treatment for quite some time. Um, the results, it takes three to five days for facial areas and up to one week for body areas. So I think I'm going to get my neck and deck done as well because I have noticed like some aging here. Um, results can last for several months depending on age, skin condition and how well you protect your skin. Um, you should notice clearer and softer skin. Um, what to expect? There'll be a consult um, to assess my suitability. Then the treatment will involve the clinician applying a topical numbing agent. So no pain, no gain. Um, so that I think goes for about half an hour a hair stuck on my face and then the clear and brilliant laser hand piece will be taken across my spin my spin my skin delivering uniform application there may be some heat related discomfort during the treatment which is usually resolved within a few hours redness and swelling which are usually resolved within a few days to a few weeks depending on the treatment area now, it's quite funny because on the treatment, it says there is no downtime. <laughs> so I guess that means um, even though you might be a red, bit red and puffy, you could still go out in public. I don't know about that, but I've purposely not planned anything for the next couple of days. So we'll see how we go. Um, this area will be a real giveaway, I think, immediately after the treatment. I... I think it's going to take about an hour, an hour and a half. Um, yeah, I, I trust the person, the clinician who recommended it to me. Um, she's the one that does my like wrinkle here and, um, and has recently given me um, a little bit like here um, to stop the corners of my mouth from going down like that. So they look like I'm smiling more than I'm sad. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. But anyway, everything goes south. And for me, I just want to have good skin. I've talked a lot about the fact that I 
I only use skin tints most of the time because I don't really care about my freckles and things like that. But I have noticed, especially this kind of dark spot, how good would it be if all I did was put sunscreen, skincare and sunscreen on um, some days? And so I don't, you know, I feel like taking care of my skin is a better investment than covering it up, if that makes sense. So wish me luck. I won't be vlogging during the procedure. Um, I'll just be doing what I'm told. <laughs> but I'll show you what it looks like as soon as I come out. So this is how red I look straight out of the clinic, which is just there. <laughs> I'm going for monochromatic vibes today. Okay, this is what I look like in natural light. <laughs> so because I have melasma, it's not pigmentation, or it's a kind of pigmentation, but it's melasma. Um, my treatment plan was just the clear and brilliant part of the package. So apparently it's part of a larger package where there would be an IPL treatment prior, but we didn't do the IPL because the heat in the IPL activates the melasma. Um, so we had the Fraxel laser treatment after about 20 minutes of numbing and the numbing really worked. It feels kind of heavy on your face when it's numb. It worked more on my face than on my chest, on my decolletage and my neck. Just a minute. Um, the numbing, because we started on the chest and neck area first before the face. And yeah, it didn't feel terrible. It felt like there, were, there was definitely warmth, um, but it didn't feel horrid at all. Oh my God, look at me now. <laughs> Um, and then followed by LED light treatment, um, I think for about 10 minutes and then a hyaluronic vitamin B, I think, um, um, mask over the area. My seatbelt is actually really, um, irritating my chest. So I've kind of pulled it over on my shoulder, which is not ideal, but it feels like it's rubbing on like raw skin um, so yeah for comfort reasons I'm not gonna change that I've got the aircon blasting on my face Wow look at that so you can see <laughs> oh, I can't wait if the career comes today it's gonna be a scary um, a scary look for him it definitely looks worse out here than what it did in there I'm still slightly numb. Um, it's this apparent redness. This should die down um, by tonight. But yeah, you definitely wouldn't want to have any plans. Apparently tomorrow I can wear, you know, tinted moisturizer or my skin tint. Um, I've got to keep my skincare really basic. So no actives, basically. No vitamin C, no retinol. Just gentle cleansing, um, hyaluronic's okay, so really hydrating um, products, moisturizer, and then within three to five days, my skin might get a little bit rough, um, and in five days, I can exfoliate, um, and that's kind of the rejuvenation part. Now, I signed up for three treatments, with the LED add-on for three areas, face, neck, and decolletage. And it was $1,300 for three sessions, which is effectively one session free. So it is not cheap, but none of these things work just with one magic go. Um, and so to do it properly, I find you've always got to sign up for a package. So here I am putting this on the internet for anyone considering it. Let's see if it works. Well, if this doesn't scare you, this might be for you. Um, I finished my treatment probably about half an hour ago and this is still how red 
I am. So, um, we'll check in a bit later on. Okay, it's now 5 p.m. It's about six hours after my treatment finish and you can see that it has calmed down quite a bit but the chest area is still quite red and um, irritated. The face is better so I'm starting to feel more confident that tomorrow I'm going to be able to see people. <laughs> Good morning, it's the day after my treatment and I've just had a shower and gently cleansed my face. I'm trying not to have the shower too warm and I just needed to wash my hair. I needed to wash my hair. Um, so get a bit closer to the window here. So day two, I've noticed some texture on my skin. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it feels like little tiny bumps. Like it's kind of rough, like sandpaperish. Not that bad, but it's kind of rough. Um, and so what I have done is I have just used like a hyaluronic um, this morning. I have used my Victoria Beckham moisturizer and I have put on a really thick coating of my ultraviolet 50 plus supreme screen technically I could wear makeup today but I don't need to I'm not going anywhere so I'm just gonna leave it um, avoid sun exposure um, and I'll probably top my makeup my um, sunscreen up again a little bit later one thing that I was really um, interested by last night is how much water I drank so I came out of my treatment about 11 and I think I drank two liters of water um, from that time. Um, and this morning I woke up super thirsty. So yeah, I think hydration is going to be a goal today, but I'll take another still shot so that we have another photo for the journey. Okay guys, we are on day three post treatment and this is supposed to be the worst day in terms of like dark patches and things like that i'm actually going out with connor today and um i've been chatting to geraldine who literally had the same treatment as me on the same day um and we've both agreed that we're not wearing any makeup um when we head out but we are going to do some a bit of eyes and and a lip to kind of look like we made an effort um i have added to my um routine skincare my um oil so this is the glory oil by eco um sonia and i because i just felt a bit too dry um so i added that today and obviously sunscreen is the trick so i'm doing a hyaluronic i'm doing a moisturizer i am doing the oil and i'm doing the ultraviolet this has a little bit of a tint in it which is good um but yeah i'm not i'm not too shocked actually um the texture of my skin um apparently it's like a cat's tongue is what I, you won't be able to see it but you can see that melasma there um apparently it's like a cat's tongue um i've never felt a cat's tongue because a i don't do cats and b i guess i don't do cats um so yeah i'm gonna brave the wilderness today i'm also taking my car in um i'm getting a new car and it's not arrived yet but i'm trading my current one so today's the last day of jail owning a drop top convertible my dream car but i don't care it's just a car it's so funny how unsentimental i am Anyway, that's besides the point of this video. So once I do my eye makeup and lips, I'll check in again and I'll take the photo so that you can see the progress. Okay, so I have done a little bit of subtle eye makeup. Um, obviously gave my brows a little comb. I've just done my normal everyday eye makeup, which is super subtle. And I've got some lip plump on that Michelle Crawford gifted to me. Thanks, Michelle. Um, I've done my hair and this is my look for the day. Now, something weird, even though my face is a lot darker than what it usually is because it's lifting pigment and what have you, I'm actually going, not wearing makeup 
for several days or a skin tint or anything, um, I wonder what that will do to my, I guess, confidence to just not wear makeup all the time. I don't know, um, because if this is like a dark lifting of pigment, um, and I'm going out in public like this, oh my God. Um, yeah, what's to stop me from doing it more often? Anyway, um, that's my thoughts. Um, yeah, bit of volume in the hair today. Um, going to drink a big heap of water because this treatment makes me really thirsty, I think. And yeah, that's my check-in for day three. Okay, so today is day four and my battery's going flat. Today is day four and um, my skin feels quite rough. I've just put all my skincare on. But you can probably see how rough it kind of looks. Um, tossing up whether or not I might put a little bit of skin tint on today. Um, I'm finding, now that I'm conscious of being in the sun, that you're exposed so, so much. So I'm constantly thinking about it. Still really thirsty. Um, quite um, not impressed, but um, I'm, I'm becoming more accepting of my skin just talking about it. So maybe I'll be more comfortable just wearing less makeup moving forward. Who would have thought? Unforeseen side effect. Um, I guess one thing that I, I'm not too happy about the fact that I'm not seeing a lot of um, raising, but maybe when I go back and look at all the pictures that I'm taking every day in the same spot, I might notice it more. But I have to say, I'm, I'm not really noticing that like real darkening and I've got the roughness. So tomorrow I can actually do a gentle exfoliation according to my therapist and I will. Um, because I find, I've been finding myself touching my face and like there are some spots where it's quite smooth because I've probably rubbed it a little bit and you shouldn't, but you do it without even knowing. So yeah, so far I'm not seeing the dramatic lifting of pigment that I expected to. Okay, here we are on day five and I've just popped out of the shower. I did a very gentle exfoliation, so much so that I don't think it really did anything. Um, I am still really rough um, and yeah, I don't think any of the dry or dead skin moved. Um, you can see it mostly on my chest. If I can get it at a certain angle, I don't know, you can see how dark it is there. So perhaps I'm a little bit further behind the time curve than originally suggested. Like I'm pretty dark up here as well and I want to do some filming today and I've got some dark spots here. So I'm just gonna have to put some makeup on and get on with it and yeah, I'm sure it's gonna look beautiful in my high def camera, but um, yeah, it's it's actually like to say that this is the fifth day and it's still so rough, it's kind of annoying. Um, I want the baby skin now and it's starting to get a bit itchy. Um, so I'm just slathering on the moisturizer. I'm putting my sunscreen on twice a day. Um, I put it on like if I know that I'm just going to be out, like I'm avoiding the sun. It's really funny. You realize how much exposure to the sun you get when you're conscious of avoiding it. Um, and I'm, you know, like a moth to the flame. I love sun. So I'm finding it a bit challenging to kind of manage my days and my exposure because of my, you know, the situation I've put my skin in by lasering it. Um, so yeah, even though there's not downtime per se, it does restrict you. So that's my experience of day five. I'm going to go and put some makeup on. Hopefully it looks all right so I can get some filming done for other videos and I'll check in with you again tomorrow. Okay, it is day six. Uh, I've just put on my skincare. I'm getting ready to go to work. Um, my skin texture is less... Like I still have some like rough texture on my decolletage, but my skin texture is less scratchy. So I think I've been using like a little facial pad to cleanse my face the last couple of days. And I think that's really helped to kind of unveil the new skin. I have to say, I'm not that impressed with, you know, the melasma 
um, here, but overall my skin does look a lot brighter. I'll take the selfie because yesterday I didn't, I forgot to vlog. I didn't take a picture until last night. Um, but yeah, and then tomorrow I'll kind of check in with a finishing video on day seven. Okay guys, it's day seven. I have started to use my vitamin C cream again. Um, look, I'll come up close. My skin it looks really clear and um, tight and any pores are kind of gone, but obviously there's still some pigment up here. Um, I am doing three sessions of the Fraxel and LED um, therapy. So my next one is in three weeks now um so yeah i can't say that i'm like i feel like the the downtime wasn't too bad i could still go out in public and what have you but it wasn't like it didn't exist um the initial results are quite scary and you do expect pretty good results um as a result of going through that and i i don't know objectively i don't think it's as much as I expected, but I know these things are a process. So, hmm, I will take the selfie for t today um, and then I will, um, yeah, put them all in a line and I'll pop back and do some commentary about it. Okay, so I've just put on my normal skin tint makeup and looking at my skin again, I have to say that the finish of my skin now post treatment is definitely much improved i just noticed it it's funny i noticed it when i put the makeup on rather than when i had bare skin and maybe that's because i didn't spend a lot of time looking at my bare skin um but i've definitely noticed that i have brighter skin now um and yeah i still do have that pigment there but um overall my complexion is much improved and oddly that i've noticed that a little bit of fallout there i've noticed that putting on my makeup weird anyway i'll go and finish that and then i'll come back all right so i'm back to filming on an iphone for this video because i've done all the vlog on an iphone with natural light so i did not see the point in switching out to my camera to film this last bit but here I am in my usual filming settings. Yes, I do have my typical makeup on, um, but what I've found is that the finish of my makeup and my overall kind of texture of my skin is a lot nicer. It does feel refreshed. Um, so I'm going to pop the before photo with no makeup and the photo I took this morning with no makeup side by side um, here. And so you can have a little bit of a look. Obviously this requires me to be a little bit vulnerable and share these things with you. So um, be kind. <laughs> um, I paid 600 and something dollars for the clear and brilliant Fraxel laser, the LED to my face, neck, and like this V section here. Um, that included a vitamin B hyaluronic mask at the end. Um, I signed up for a three session deal where I got one session free. So it will be about 1200 and something dollars um, for the two. I don't have the exact figures, um, but I thought that was a good time to commit to a process um, because ultimately I want to see, you know, the results and I want to stick to it. Um, I have my, as I said before, I have my next one in three weeks and then I'll book four weeks again after that. Um, uh, this is not like a typical look you'll see from me, but I thought wearing white and having my hair pulled back will give you the best look at my skin. Um, yeah, so look, um, I have been talking to a lot of you guys who've had similar treatments you've actually gone for the full Fraxel. So from what I've been told, the treatment that I've had is baby Fraxel. There is a more um, powerful Fraxel laser that you can have that you would only do once a year in the cooler months. 
um, and it is, you know, a fair bit more downtime, up to several days downtime um, and lots of peeling, not just what I had, like, which was kind of rough skin that tended to shed when I wasn't, I didn't even know that it did. It just went from being rough to being less rough in some spots and then I was able to do a light exfoliation. Um, I don't know if I'll ever want to do something kind of that invasive um, for me. It's really been about brightening and correcting. I don't like covering my skin up with heavy makeup. Um, I like skin to look like skin. I am a 42 year old woman and I've got no problems looking like one. But if I can freshen up and rather than have, you know, re spending my money on relaxing facials, which can be a couple of hundred dollars, um, to spend it on something where I'm going to get longevity, um, that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. If I want to do a nice facial, I can kind of do that at home. Um, or, you know, someone might give me a gift voucher for a nice relaxing facial, but really for me, if I'm going to be spending money on my skin, um, it's skincare, sunscreen, and getting these kind of more rejuvenative treatments, um, as opposed to anything that's too invasive. So do I recommend it? At this stage, if you are happy to have a day's downtime and just deal with the itchiness over, you know, five or so days, yeah, do it. Um, but I think I really won't be able to tell you um, what I think until I've done at least the next treatment um, and potentially the one after that as well. So stay tuned. Um, I will do a follow-up video when I get my next treatment done. I probably won't vlog it, but I'll just do a, a follow-up and kind of refer to this video. If there's any questions that you have, um, please pop them in the comments below. If I can't answer them, I'm sure there are people watching this video that might be able to share their experience because certainly a lot of people have really generously shared their experiences with me on Instagram. Um, and it's been really nice to kind of talk to you all about it. So thanks for joining me. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. I usually do content around luxury handbags, shoes and fashion. So if there are things that interest you, consider subscribing. Come back for more. I would love to see you then. And until such time, ciao for now. Bye.